Now that we've seen some of the things we can do with Spreadsheet App, let's take a look at an example. So if we had a file full of data readings, uh, let's say we, we received all this data, but there's some gaps here. We've got all these values that are empty. You know, they, maybe they should, let's say that they should be zeros, but for some reason we didn't actually get any zeros in, into our data. We can actually fix this problem with a really easy Spreadsheet App uh, function. So let's go ahead, we'll create a new function. We'll call it fill in zeros, uh, zeros. and We'll save this and we're going to just get that range. So we're going to get all of the data that we have here. We have all, you know, this would take a long time to fill the zeros in. Even if we did it, you know, just by sorting, it would still be, take a bit of time. We have 678 rows in this, this spreadsheet. So let's go ahead and we will get the first and last columns. Var uh, last row is equal to spreadsheet app dot get act. In fact, we could actually just get the sheet here. Var sheet is equal to spreadsheet app get active sheet then we will call var last column is equal to sheet dot get last column var last row is equal to sheet dot get last row just saves us some typing there so now that we have that we can actually get the range that we need sheet uh, var range is equal to sheet dot get range uh, starting from 1, 1 up to last row and last column. And we'll call it the data range.getValues. So now we have this, this output. And if we were to just run it where we retrieve everything, we fill in zeros. So if we were to do 4 var r is equal to 0, r is less than uh, data.length, r++. Plus plus, Four of our C is equal to zero. C is less than data R length C plus uh, plus. Data, we'll say if data uh, data R C is nothing, then data R C is equal to zero. And if we run this. First thing we're going to see is the authorization. So let's go ahead and review permissions. And we know that we'll have to use, identify this and click advanced and click OK. We're going to go ahead and allow this to be authorized. We'll click allow and say that that's OK. And we're going to come back in here. Well, you can see that this hasn't actually done anything yet because all we've done is this data is going to be a copy of what's actually in the spreadsheet. It's not giving us what's exactly in the spreadsheet. But we do have the range already. So we can use range dot set values and just pass that back in so now because we already have this range and that range hasn't changed it's still a reference to what is in all what is in the spreadsheet directly this is still coming from the spreadsheet when we run this and we get fill in zeros now we should get all of those values so we don't have to type out all of this code every single time we try to call something we can actually get that sheet use that as a variable uh, we can get that range and use that as a variable and then use that range to set the values so we don't have to type everything out every single time but pretty easy example on how we can use our, our code to just very quickly and easily fix data uh, hopefully this was a real world example that made sense and uh, I hope you'll get a chance to try this out in our next video but for now thanks for watching